I initially thought it was a really, really stupid idea to have just a regular Bluetooth speaker with a candle on top. But what I learned is that the glass on top is actually part of the speaker system. So I went from thinking this was a really stupid product to actually something that seems quite exciting. Got a little strap in here. Oh my God, look at that. It's certainly a lot girthier than I expected. I'm a little intimidated, honestly. It's really, really heavy too. Let's see what else we got in here. Whoa, it turned on! My God, that's uh, that's pretty bright. It's like a one piece unit in there. When it even reflects up off the top of the little glass tubey thing. Okay, I'll just leave that over there for now. <laughs> it's gonna burn me down. Okay, we got a charging cable, USB-C, that's really nice. Nice fabric wrap on this. Bunch of instructions. It's a glass speaker. What's this? Ooh, comes with a cleaning cloth. Oh, you're gonna burn it. Oh, I think it's just a light in there. Don't need that. Nah, 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 nah. Okay, that's everything we need here. They call it an organic glass tube. I don't really know what that means. It's plastic, you can hear that. I don't really understand why they would call it organic glass when it's just plastic. One of the interesting things about this is it's got two speakers inside the unit. It's got this down-firing larger driver, which probably makes up most of the base here. No, so you have a separate mid-driver and then you also have a tweeter that is attached, stop it, attached to the plastic organic glass uh, tube at the top here. So instead of having a tweeter that fires up or 360 degrees around, this entire glass tubey thing, glass tubey thing, acts as your tweeter, which is uh, actually quite exciting. Do you wanna weigh it? It's supposed to mimic like a candle? Yeah, but... <laughs> The tube is actually the tweeter. Oh, no way! So it's it's like they went, okay, we'll make a giant tweeter, and wow, this is kind of boring. I know, we'll put a candle in it. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of like uh, vacuum tubes. Like, I love amps. Yeah. They have the vacuum yeah. tubes that glow when they're on and stuff. I think that's a nice aesthetic. It, this is kind of less of a nerdy version of that. Yeah, I think they turned something that they designed from a technical standpoint into something that's more of an aesthetic piece. Do um, it sound good? I don't know yet. Well, I ain't got time. Okay. So have fun. I'll let you know. Bye bye. Yes. Love you. 1.111 kilograms. Two and a half pounds. Hefty. Good bludgeoning weapon. How does it connect? Believe it's only Bluetooth. Doesn't look like it's got any auxiliary in, so you can't pass around the aux cord. Power button on the side, it's got a phone connection button, and it looks like you've got your volume adjustment here too. One thing that did irritate me was that the Bluetooth connection button and the, I guess it's like a timer off mode thing are on the bottom. So if I wanted to interact with it, I'd have to pick it up and, and repair it. I don't know why those couldn't be on the side. Maybe it was just an aesthetic consideration, who knows. It takes five volts in through this USB-C charger. So theoretically you could leave this plugged in all the time, but it is battery powered. Uh, Jono tells me it's got eight hours of battery life. I can imagine that you would fit quite a large battery in here, but I also believe that most of this internal volume is just the down facing driver. This uh, little fabric around the outside of it is where that downward facing driver is gonna spread the sound out. The speaker comes with an app called Sony Music Center and it's already found it. I didn't even have to put it in pairing mode. I think it's already started in pairing mode and it's come up here so it wants setup. So let's do the setup. There it is, we're gonna pair with it. Do you think it'll bing? Bing. That was, that was Andy. It did bing, there we go. Setting complete. There we are, the LSPX-S3. I think Bluetooth initially <laughs> was not ever designed for you know, high quality audio transmission. The new standards, I believe, are really pushing for high quality audio. And I guess LDAC is a Sony proprietary transmission. I see this group with other speakers button, which is really exciting. Because if this had been good, I would have absolutely loved to have a pair of them to use them as actual speakers. And it looks like it supports that. Or you can make them that. Yeah, we could glue five or 10 of them together. I'm sure Sony would enjoy that. Uh, we've got Party Connect. Change anywhere to a party room with more powerful sound. So I guess you could put 30 of them in a room and just murder people with the audio quality. But the stereo connection is what's most exciting in my opinion. What makes it so exciting? 
Well, because if it's a good speaker, they're small, they're weighty, they feel good. It would be nice to have a very simple Bluetooth connected stereo system that needs no wires. The app installed easy, it didn't make me make an account, which I would have just deleted it instantly. We've got settings for the device itself. We've got some sound settings. It's got a bass boost mode, so you can turn it into a Beats by Dr. Dre. Illumination settings, that's right. It's got a light in it. So it's got lighting mode. And let's go candlelight mode. Romantic mode? Romantic mode, ooh. And then we've got flickering, we've got delicate, middle. Middle flickering, bright. It beeps when you change it. Linked with music, oh, we're definitely doing that. Sleep timer, power options, auto standby, Bluetooth standby, I don't care about any of that. Touch sensor. So, I don't know, when you fondle it, does it like get annoyed with you? Because it keeps coming on when I was touching it, right? Oh, that's right. There's a little touch bar here that allows you to adjust the brightness. I think it's probably when it's in the other mood. Bim, 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 bim. Bluetooth connection quality, prioritize sound quality. Yes, we definitely want that. Are we gonna measure it with our measuring measurer? I mean, it's intimidating and so are the bananas. You get them at ltdstore.com. Let's see, the glass tubey thing is like, well, banana. If you wanna spend extra money, you can get them in a different color from ltdstore.com. Should we listen to it? Yeah. Woo! Let's put some crab ready to be. the drop, no, you stupid f***ing. There you go. Yeah, that's pretty good, that's top volume. I'm honestly not too sure where the high band's coming from because when I move it around, it's sort of coming from here, but the speaker's really midi, like there's not enough high band. Whatever they've done with the not plastic tube is not as nice as I was hoping for, especially for 350. That's moving in there. Uh, oh, oh, no. oh my God. Interesting, it's like held in with some sort of something. Oh, 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 so it's a good sound, isn't it? <laughs> Everybody's screaming. Does it come off? I feel like this would just break in like six seconds if this fell over. Haha, ah. <laughs> he's wearing headphones, he's dying. Okay, let's get rid of the desk pad and give her another go. What? No change. Putting your hand on this, because it's supposed to be designed, like this is the tweeter, right? It doesn't really change the sound too much. Is that a $350 Bluetooth speaker? It's sad, it's, it's kind of sad. Especially as this is all max volume, I would wanna be uh, in physical pain. It's pretty though. I don't know. I'm gonna try one of my reference songs that you can't use in the video. Well, I think I know what's going on at least. There's a lot of really low bass and we can feel that when the table moves and when there's a kick drum and stuff like that. But the mid band where this speaker here is, I guess, is just weak. When the whole song sort of filled out, it's just sort of sad. It's not enough, I guess, full body. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's a watered down beer. I'll put it that way. Does it sound like some laptop speakers? Hell no. This is very, very good for like a Bluetooth speaker. Problem is, it's 350 bucks. I mean, 50 bucks. I would definitely buy one of these for 50 bucks. Um, I'm concerned about this. I wanna be holding it from here. The whole thing is bending. Picking it up is, is super awkward and now I'm pushing all the buttons because they're here. Maybe that's why they put them on the bottom. I don't know, uh, but it's, you know, it. It's too heavy to have this as a plastic. I mean, even as a, shut up. Even as a glass, um, I think I would be concerned. I would really like a way to remove this. 
Oh yeah, it's got bass boost mode. That might actually fix the whole thing, wouldn't it? Okay, uh, should we play it and try changing the sound while it's playing? That's bass boost mode. Normal mode. Bass boost mode. Okay, that actually sounds a hell of a lot better because the, the like super low frequencies are still there, but the bass boost mode seems to be adding the ones that I think we're missing instead of just making everything worse like I really expected. Let's do a sine sweep. See if we can hear when it starts. Then we can get a perfect idea of exactly. What is, what is sine sweep? So this is just playing a pure sine wave, which is like the purest tone that you can do. And it's going through the entire frequency spectrum um, it's logarithmic, so it goes nice and even, but the frequency is increasing a lot faster. So it started like 45, so that's really nice and bassy. And what we're listening for when we do a sine sweep is uh, the exact same level of volume through the entire frequency range. So right now through 45 to about 110 that it's at now, it's rising in volume. You can hear that from over there, right? And now it's getting even louder. And then there was a bit of a dip at 160 and another dip at 180. 1,000, there's a massive dip right there at 1,600. Those, okay. those highs are good. That's really good. So it's got some weakness in the middle. Um, I'm not gonna take it any higher because we're all gonna go goddamn deaf, but I would say for 350 bucks, it's such a hard maybe. If you had no music in your place, if you had no living room stereo, if you had no bookshelf speakers, if you didn't have anything besides your phone and you wanted something, to listen to music at a reasonable volume, at a reasonable level of quality. I'd say for 350 bucks, this would be a really, really nice option. It's aesthetically pleasing. It's not gonna get full of dust and garbage because the top is nicely covered. Um, seems well built, except for... Ah, stop! No! No! <laughs> except for that, I wouldn't recommend it if you had kids because it's gonna be broken in like eight seconds. The $400 space is really difficult. Uh, from the cheap crap to $20 up to like $100 or more, uh, you also have a massive, massive market. But the $400 range is sort of where you start to get into good quality products. And if you're looking for a speaker in the range of $300 to $400 or a pair of headphones, I would probably put them in the same category you're gonna have to do a lot of research and you're gonna have to probably go to a place and try a whole bunch of them rather than just going, this one looks nice because the difference in quality that you'll get for the $400 range is incredibly large. Um, Until we get LTT Labs going. Then we'll just tell you and you can buy what we tell you to. <laughs>